Hi folks, Joe Baker, Trade Pilot Pro. What an interesting day that was today. Um, the the uh, indexes really took a hit, as I suspected they would. If you saw my last night's video, uh, you know I, uh, I I had that 1287 area open, and I said it. You know, God forbid it hit there, but it did, and uh, I I kind of expected this with this typically being a bullish week, um, as I mentioned last week. I mean, in the last few few days in these uh, this markets have just been absolutely hammered every time they even try to to gain any type of rally. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, and I know it's going to be very hard for you guys to see this because of the um, YouTube having such a small video capture, and it'll be reduced down. But I'm going to I'm going to give out these targets and explain what we're looking at because we have to look at this on a daily basis because we really want these levels to start to hold. And we want to go and find out where there was price rejection and see if it's going to hold again. So um, there is going to be no line in the sand tomorrow. Is just kind of a, what I would consider an open day for anything. Um, anything as far as a massive rally, um, you know, dead cat bounce, maybe a couple hundred points, which would be nice. Um, even another 200 point sell off is possible. So there's really no. There's no, there's nothing I would feel comfortable in saying, hey, I want you bullish above, bearish below, like I have been. Um, I just, I just don't feel comfortable in this market. I, I actually, if you can, if you don't have to trade it, don't even trade it. But we're traders, and this is what we do, so we eat it up. So here we go. Um, the 1287.75 should hold tomorrow. Uh, that's 1287.75 should hold. Uh, that is kind of what I'm looking for as far as I guess if you you know hold me to it I would say that would be my line in the sand to, to stay bullish to think that we're gonna get back up into the uh, 1300s um, but I don't want to do that but anyway 1287.75 underneath that we've got 1283.75 um, and, I, and I want you to see where I'm getting these uh, levels from obviously we this is where we basically closed uh, today and you know we had a little back here on March 17th, the March 18th area, we had um, a low that held there, and it came back up right in this area here. So this is why I'm looking for this to hold, as well as back in early March, this is kind of a double bottom here, um, and then back up again. So maybe that'll hold, maybe it won't, but it's 1283.75 anyway. You can you know give or take three or four ticks. Um, and then underneath that, we've got 1276.50. Now you can see where I'm getting this as the 1276.50 is this Pearson pattern back again in early March. Now keep in mind, this March was when you know we had the Bear Stearns debacle and all this. You know that was kind of the low, and we had this capitulatory day. This is when the you know, I think this is when Bear Stearns went bust and, you know, the Fed came out and did all that and so forth and so on. So we had a lot of, you know, this downward move, which was rejected. So all this price rejection. So what I'm ultimately thinking is, you know, we are going to go back down and retest. Um, usually these high volume, you know, dojis here are usually retested. Um, and what you want to see is when it is retested, if it is retested, um, we'll, we'll do this again tomorrow and so forth. Every night I'll, I'll be updating you guys, but we'll look at a volume chart. We'll do some volume analysis. And obviously if we retest it on lighter volume, which I suspect we would, unless something else comes out on the news wires of, you know, somebody else going bust like Lehman or somebody, um, you know, it, it should be, a, you know, it should be a test on lighter volume, which says we should, you know, kind of recover a little bit. Um, but I want you to see underneath the 7650, there's nothing here. Okay, there's nothing here. So there's really nothing we can we can gauge. So if it breaks, it could be just a, a waterfall down for about 10 points down to the 66 area, which is from like January 23rd, I believe. Um, and you can see where this obviously was price rejected up to here. So it would be this bottom to be tested. Um, and hopefully that will you know be a sign of the end if not then we've got this 1257 underneath 1257 we take out the March 17th lows that's that we'll we'll just we'll talk about that if we if we get there um, but if it does get under 1257 um, look out I mean really look out below because there's nothing under that for quite a while so I don't 
you know, I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want you getting, you know, fearful to trade. It doesn't help you. Um, this is just a numbers game, guys, and that's all we're doing. It was just, we're just, we're just reading the numbers. So, anyways, uh, twelve fifty-seven to the downside. It's got to hold. Absolutely has to hold. Twelve sixty-six will be the next pivot upward from there. Twelve seventy-six fifty. 1283.75, 1287.75, then we've got 1292.50, and then if we get above 1292.50, we can get up to actually 1298.50, which is a nice little run, um, and then back up to the 1303 area, uh, 1304, and you know, any luck, um, maybe with a wish and a prayer, we can get up to the you know 1309, 1302. 13, 10, 50 area uh, with an upside uh, target of about, uh, you know, maximum upside target of about 13, 14 tomorrow, 13, 14, 50, um, which is where, you know, this day here closed. So price rejection up to here, and this is where it closed, came back up, retested it here again. So there's obviously some, some serious support here for here, and there was some resistance here. Um, and you can see once it broke, down. Um, took out all these levels, and one thing I want to point out to you is when you're taking out all these levels like it did today and you've got this big washout, um, that's pretty hard to do when you just take out every single one of these levels so easily. And if you look how much easier it's going to be to get down here because there really isn't much here. Um, so the hard work is done. So that's what, that's what kind of scares me about this market. But what set this all off was this head and shoulders pattern. And you can see you know your your right shoulder here you know came in came down held this area of support right in here came back up made your head came back down and here's your left shoulder and one thing I want to point out is these droopy left shoulders um, they're great I that's what I look for in a head and shoulders pattern is I look for kind of a drooping left shoulder now one thing intraday um, that we do is if we see a head and shoulders pattern because just as much times as they have big reversals they can be actually continuations so if you see a head and shoulders pattern with you know broad shoulders you know so the right and left shoulder are very broad um, and very strong usually you can actually get a continuation pattern and I'll do an entire video on that on how to read head and shoulders patterns um, very very important they can they can be great signals intraday when you're in a trend uh, for continuation. Believe it or not, a lot of people think they're always reversals. They are not. Um, they can be just as much continuation patterns, and the price targets are phenomenal um, because it's very simple. You take the you take the distance between the the right shoulder and the head. You add that to the breakout, and that's your first target. And then you can take the prior move, the prior swing. So in other words, you could take from here to here. And then take it from here and then up. So you add the A to B portion to the C portion, and there's your first target would be up here if this was going to be a continuation pattern. And then, um, again, if you had a, that would be your first level target. And then the second target would be this level from here to here. And you'd add this portion here to this portion here, and you'd add that to it, and that would be your second target. But I can, I'll go over all that. Um, you know, that's a, that's a whole different ball game on head and shoulders but uh, very important and you know pattern recognition is something um, all traders should should learn and should try to master if you could uh, just a few of them so you know the M patterns the W patterns and the head and shoulder patterns learn them and uh, you'll be a much better trader for it I will uh, I will check back um, tomorrow night after tomorrow's uh, wonderful day again guys it's a Friday oils cranking the markets are sick. It's Fridays have typically been sell days, and you have your pivots. You know what's going on. Um, we eat this stuff up as traders and scalpers because we're in and out constantly. But you know, you guys, if you swing in it, be careful. The breakdown range is going to be the buy zone is going to come in at 1291.25 for a target of 1303.75. The sell zone will be 1278.75. For a target of twelve seventy of uh, twelve sixty six twenty one again buy zone twelve ninety one twenty five for a target of thirteen oh three seventy five a sell target at thir at twelve seventy eight seventy five for a target of twelve sixty six twenty five I will talk to you tomorrow.